Shooter ready. Stand by. This CTE is high ready with the rifle. Now, once you've conquered the low ready, you've got to conquer the high ready. There's a little bit more to it than that. Why don't you elaborate just a bit for me, Coach? Well, doing high ready is a different manipulation than coming from low ready. Um, it requires the stock to be tucked underneath your shoulder. It's more of a retention position on yep. the rifle. The other thing, I, and high ready is not used as much anymore. Um, I think it still has a place though. You know, in the civilian shooting, nobody wants a muzzle pointed over the berm, and that's one of the reasons it went away a little bit. One of the things I like about high ready position though, is you know where your muzzle's pointed, okay? When you're in a stack, when you're in low ready, you may not know. Roger that. If you're not Behind. looking, if, you're, if your muzzle's down here and you're looking up here, you don't know where your muzzle's pointed. It may be at your buddy, it may be at your foot, you don't know. So there are situations to use that, but it's a completely different manipulation. At low ready, you're pivoting up. At high ready, you're having to come out from underneath your shoulder, present the rifle forward, snap it back into your shoulder, get sights on target, manipulate the safety, work the trigger, manage your sight offset. And you also need to have that positive tension where you're pulling the rifle back in your shoulder to manage recoil. Okay, so you got a lot going on, there's a lot of movement. Now, that all said, for me, High ready is a lot faster than low ready. Uh, I like high ready because in a high ready position, what you want to have when you have that stock tucked under your shoulder is you want to have the muzzle indexed to exactly where you want the bullet to go. So I'm looking, I've got my muzzle here, I've got the muzzle here, my target is right there. And so what I'm doing is just punching that rifle into the target. And as I punch it forward, the sights drop down. And the longer you can see your sight or your optic or whatever it is, the more accurate that first shot's going to be. So for me, that's a lot faster to make that high ready presentation. Even though you're punching it forward, pulling it back, I can see the sights longer and I can get a faster hit. All right, so just like you said, you know, have that drive that barrel out. Now remember, when you're driving it out, bringing it up, if you're over doing all your shooting slick, then you're gonna roll into the house where you're wearing body armor. A lot of guys, they, their muscle memory's now catching on the front of their kit. So practice getting it out far enough to clear that body armor and then lock it into that shoulder. All right, you gotta practice the way you the way you fight. All right, what do you say we go shoot this thing? Just a fun one. You've got one second, you start with the rifle in. The high ready or the strike position. The rifle must be tucked under the armpit. At the buzzer, you fire one shot at the designated high ready target. In this case, he's gonna be using the same dot he's been using. Shooter ready. Stand by. 0.78 seconds, not too shabby. Now, when you're doing this from the high ready or the low ready, remember we're at seven meters here. You've got to think about that uh, barrel optic offset. Okay, you've got to remember that, right? Especially when you're trying to tee box that person. Nicely done, coach, nicely done. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you don't miss out on anything.